Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great time and once again I welcome you all back to my channel with a fresh new video. The topic that I am covering today is valuation of convertible bonds. So before we uh, deep dive into the arithmetic exercise, let's just quickly go through the definition of what convertible bond is. So a convertible bond is a fixed income corporate debt security that yield interest payment just like a normal straight bond but can be converted into predetermined number of common stocks or equity shares. The conversion from the bond to stock can be done at certain times during the bond's life and is usually at the discretion of bondholder. So in our example for simplicity we will assume that uh, the embedded call option in our bond is a European option instead of American option. Ok let's look at the formula. So the value of a convertible bond is equals to the value of a straight bond plus value of call option on the stock. So I have listed out uh, assumptions related to bond, stock and black scholes Merton model. So we are going to use uh, black scholes model to calculate the value of call option. So we have face value that is 1000, bond maturity 15 years, uh, yield current yield is 5%, coupon rate is 6%, spread over yield which is going to be our discount rate is 7%. Uh, conversion ratio is 30 means that uh, each bond will convert into 30 stocks. Uh, conversion price is 25. Uh, stock price at the issue is 23 although it's we're not going to use this uh, variable but uh, just FYI. Uh, current stock price is 25 and uh, the Black Scholes uh, model related assumption uh, have been listed out over here which are stock volatility, uh, risk free rate, uh, stock price uh, at the time of issue, what is the current price, what is the strike price and what is the time to maturity. So we are assuming uh, that the maturity of bond is 15 years and we have already passed 5 years so the time to maturity is 10 years as of the date. Okay. So let's start with the uh, valuation of bond, the straight bond. So as we know for any financial asset, the value of the financial asset is the present value of the cash inflows that any financial asset would generate. So in case of uh, bond, we know we have two types of cash inflows. First is the coupon payment and second is the principal repayment. So we'll quickly calculate the coupon that is face value multiply by coupon rate and this is going to remain same until the maturity. So I'll just copy paste principal we are going to get back at the end of maturity that is uh, year 10. So I'll just simply link the face value. The total cash inflow is the sum of coupon payment and principal. So this is the cash inflow that the straight bond would generate for the bond holder. Okay now let's calculate the present value. So this divided by 1 plus the discount rate. We'll freeze this and uh, raise to the power year. Alright so it's a very uh, simple calculation. So the present value is 929 and the reason why it is 929 because the coupon rate is 6 and discount is 7. Now let's say if the yield decreases to 4% in that case the value will increase to 1000 because now you see the coupon rate and the discount rate is the same. Okay so now let's go back to our previous assumption where now the value of straight bond is lower than the face value. Okay it was a simple calculation. And over here we are calculating the value of convertible bond which uh, like uh, earlier I said is the uh, value of strain bond plus the call option. 
now let's calculate the uh, call option value okay let's look at the value of call option based on black scholes model so the formula is call option value is equals to distribution function of d1 multiply by stock price minus distribution function of d2 multiply by strike price multiply by e raised to the power negative risk free rate multiply by time to maturity whereas d1 is natural log of stock price divided by strike price plus uh, risk free rate plus volatility raised to the power 2 divided by 2 and then everything multiplied by time to maturity divided by volatility and then square root time to maturity and whereas d2 is d1 minus volatility square root time to maturity so we have everything uh, all the inputs are listed over here and then uh, based on the same formula i have calculated uh, d1 you can uh, pause the video and look at the formula it, it is the exact formula that we could see and similarly i have calculated uh, d2 and we are arriving at a value of 9.21 so this is the value of one option now if we convert our bond into stocks we'll have 30 stocks so in case if i have to calculate the value for all the shares so this will come 276 now we all know that the value of call option is dependent upon the greeks utilize in black scholes model so let's say if i decrease the volatility to 10 uh current stock price is 25 strike price is 25 if i decrease it to 20 the value of option accordingly will go down a convertible bond is the value of straight bond that is 2929 be on the basis of assumption we have considered and the value of call option is around 97 so the total value of convertible bond is 1026 now this value will keep on changing based on the change in the variables so the favorable uh, change in assumption for bond holder is if the yield uh, uh, decreases so the value of bond right now like i mentioned is uh, 1027 now let's say if the yield uh, decreases to 4% or 3% and uh, the stock price increases to let's say uh, 30 then accordingly the value of bond will go up all right so this brings us to the end of the video so we have valued a uh, plain vanilla convertible bond we can add a lot of complexity to it but that is something i will uh, cover in some other video but for today i hope you had a great learning session and uh, i see you next week thank you